doing. Usually when Attorney Ben Crumb comes up on something, I kind of be looking at him sideways, kind of like I look at Al Sharpton. But Ben Crumb is an actual lawyer, but he always represents, but he's always there. But sometimes I kind of like wonder what his agenda is. You know, sometimes I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know what this cat's up to. But this lawsuit potentially against Ron DeSantis for rejecting African-American studies courses. Oh, I'm with him on this. DeSantis is a racist piece of trash. And I'm going to tell you something. Majority white folks in the Latino community are going to have to do some explaining why they justify and why they support him. Let me tell you something. Yes, he's running for presidency, but can he win? I don't think he crosses over near enough. And I think that his racist rhetoric is what's going to bite him in the behind. Now, one of the things that they say about him is that he doesn't have the appeal. And he doesn't. For all the flaws that Donald Trump has and blatant, all the flaws that Joe Biden has and they're fatal, they smart enough and smooth out just enough edges to have some appeal. You know, Trump has black supporters and they're a long line and he knows how to tap into the preachers. He knows how to talk into the streets. He has appeal. Biden used old school rhetoric, but yet he aligns himself up with the right faces and places, and it looks like he halfway kind of cares in his own twisted way. But those Archie Bunker types ain't all Archie in the sense that they figured out a way to nudge a Howard Stern appeal in a way to a Bill Maher approach appeal. It's real slick how some racists get able to get the right nudge. But DeSantis has no appeal at all. He, we know he's a hardcore Klansman. He just don't wear the hood and he's got brown in his skin. But we know he's Klan. People who aren't riding him out of Florida or the people who don't want things to go back to the 50s and they like his rhetoric. He's out the Trump playbook, even though he's supposed to be a well-educated man, supposed to have some degrees and, supposed to ha and actually has some, some kind of common sense. He's not to be believable. When they had that hurricane last year, he was sitting next to Biden like a puppy, hoping for support. And he goes in and out of character like he's a TV wrestler. Because when he needs something, he's puppy eye and puppy child. But when his behind is up to his old racist agendas and ways, he wants to anti-woke, anti-everything. I'm going to tell you like I tell it the best I can. If you ain't blow, if you ain't black and you ain't been through the experience or you ain't been around black folk like that, you cannot be passing legislation or passing situations without knowing. Not the tokens who sit there and tap dance and grin and say, yes, I'm Master DeSantis. No, I'm talking about folks that will actually have a voice that will speak. And see, this is the thing. He is going to be much resistance, and he should be hit with a law. So he's, he's racially profiling and discriminating openly. That's what Trump does with Asian community and other communities. The difference is, is that Trump got a pulpit where they allow a pass. They allow you to be racist in America if you know how to play it to your base and to your agenda. Just don't get caught when you hit the wrong agenda because then they'll use something else to backfire on you, you know. But that's what's up. But please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts or comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for another, and share this video if you want to. And yes, I expect a lot of black folks to be up against the sentence because what he's doing is racial genocide. And he's trying to already take something that isn't being fully taught as it is because America hasn't been woke because of the truth ever came about with the importance of African-Americans in this culture and the depths and magnitude and what they've done. Believe me, you'd want to erase the whole school system and they'd have to start from scratch. And we know they don't ever want the truth to come out. I'm out.